New at 6 o'clock, a Raleigh woman is on the mend after a bullet ended her New Year celebrations. Police confirm Caitlin Kong was hit by celebratory gunfire just after midnight in downtown Raleigh. CBS 17 Colleen Quigley joins us live from Wake Med. And Colleen, you talk with the woman's father. How is she doing? Yeah, that's right. Caitlin is still recovering and wake med tonight. We spoke with her dad, understandably really shaken up by this whole thing. He says it's going to be several days before his daughter is able to get out of the hospital. But let's take you back to the scene last night. So this is, of course, uh, the New Year's Eve celebration, the acorn drop in downtown Raleigh for first night. Caitlin's dad tells me his daughter, a 22 year old UNC student, had never been uh, to that celebration before, but she wanted to see that famous acorn drop. So she went to those festivities last night, and it was shortly after the acorn drop, so sometime between midnight and 12.05 a.m., that Raleigh police say Caitlin was hit by a bullet, possibly from celebratory gunfire. Caitlin's dad tells me his daughter felt a sharp pain and that she collapsed, and that it was her roommate who she was there with that helped her out of the crowd, out of the chaos and initially they didn't know what happened. They thought maybe she'd been stabbed or maybe she'd been hit by something else and it was only later they realized she'd actually been hit by a bullet. He tells me doctors worked for hours overnight on Caitlin. She's stable. Uh, they five, four or five hours of surgery last night. They had to cut her open because it went in, punctured the corner of her lung, went in bottom of her chest there, through her abdomen, through, through uh, her stomach and they bounced around inside. So they had a cut in six inch, never been cut. You heard her dad say there, it's just awful. Raleigh police, we know, are investigating this one right now, but they don't know who shot that gun, so they're asking anybody with information to please give them a call. You can always make that tip anonymously. Reporting live at Wake Matt, Colin Quigley, CBS 17 News.